Welcome to Broncos Stadium, the beautiful blue turf in Boise, Idaho, for your third BCS Playoffs preview game right here on Facebook and on YouTube. If you're not a fan yet, head over to the Facebook page, search the words at the bottom of the screen, or check out the link in the description and join the fight against the Bowl Championship Series and this game, the next game of the week, voted on by you, the fans, as we lead up to the BCS Playoffs. We give you guys a couple of... Uh, game of the week games to to lead up to our playoffs coming up before you know it right at the end of the year and Boise State an interesting team they are wearing the silver jerseys unable to wear all blue at home thanks to the new Mountain West Conference regulation when they play in conference games and the whole bowl championship series was in a sense let's we're gonna go back and take a little history of both of these teams the bowl championship series the playoffs was essentially created because of Boise State. In 2006, Florida was named the national champions even though they had one loss when Boise finished the season undefeated. And that's when all the questions started about how can every game truly count when your national champion has one loss and yet there's an undefeated team out there that hasn't gotten a chance to play for the title. So all the lawsuits, everything started flying around and that's when the bowl championship series playoffs began we were able to keep the same name because under this system it's still a bowl championship series you play in a series of bowl games leading up to a championship hence the name the bcs playoffs boise has taken complete advantage of that a quick history of boise in the bowl championship series playoffs 2007 losing to West Virginia 38-21 to in the Meineke Car Care Bowl before they bounced back. 2008, they ended up winning it all. They took down Boston College in the Las Vegas Bowl. And there's a good start from TCU. We'll get to this game in just a moment. But took down Boston College in the Las Vegas Bowl 42-24. Uh, then they took down Penn State 20-14 to in the Sun Bowl. Followed it up with another win over Oklahoma, 35-5 to in the Sugar Bowl. And then in the Orange Bowl Final Four, they took down Oklahoma State and then Ohio State to win the national championship in 2008. Ed Wesley, on the very first play of the game, is brought down by the Boise State defense. In 2009, they did it again. They took down Old Miss, Nebraska, Oklahoma State, and Oregon, making it back to the national championship game. But they were beaten by Mike Stoops and the Arizona Wildcats, 42-28 to on a last-second Hail Mary pass. One of the great games, one of the great national championships in BCS national championship history. And there's a great pass and a great catch as... Uh, as uh, Paul, Paul Hall gets it over to, was that Ed Wesley, I believe? Yes, it was Ed Wesley who bulldozes down. And then uh, last season, Boise State made it to the second round before losing to Oklahoma for the first time ever. So Boise State, this system essentially created because of the controversy in 2006. They have made... Do, they have made right by this system by going to the national championship twice and winning two and winning one national championship. TCU, they've been to the BCS playoffs three times. They've never gotten past the second round. In 2008 in the Music City Bowl, they got past Ball State 28-17, but then they got blown out by their own conference foe, Utah. They lost 34-0 on the Alamo Bowl. 2009, they were the number four ranked team. They were undefeated. Everyone thought they were going to make a run. They lost to East Carolina, 14-10 in the New Orleans Bowl. Big upset. And then last season, again, TCU undefeated as Paul Hall going deep down the field. Knocked away. Good defense by the Boise State Broncos. And now TCU will be forced to punt it away. But... TCU, they took down Tulsa in their own home state. It wasn't at their stadium because the stadium was under renovations. It was at the Armed Forces Bowl, and they played Tulsa at the campus of SMU. They took them down 35-17, to and then the next round, Alamo Bowl. Didn't even have to leave the state, and they lost 14-9 to to Oklahoma State. There's your history of Boise State and TCU in the Bowl Championship Series playoffs. Boise State, who's been to the National Championship twice, they've won it all before, 
and TCU, who has yet to get past the second round. Both of these teams are poised once again to make a run in the Bowl Championship Series playoffs, and you're going to want to stay tuned to either our YouTube page and subscribe or to get all the information on our Facebook page, which you can search at the link at the bottom of your screen. Let's get to this game. Three minutes and 15 seconds to go. And here's Kellen Moore. He's going to throw it. Had an open man, and you don't see that often from Kellen Moore. He overthrew it. As you see, Travis Battle enjoying that. The sophomore cornerback from San Antonio. And it's going to be second down and 10 for Boise State. There's a handoff to Doug Martin. and He's met at the line and tackled by the Horned Frogs. Boise wearing the silver uniforms. Unable to wear all blue at home when in Mountain West Conference play. They give it to Doug Martin, and interesting play call. It nearly worked for him, and that's Chris Peterson for you. You never know what he's going to do. They tried to run with Doug Martin. He had the blocks, and he just couldn't push forward and pick up the first down. And on that, the Boise State Broncos will be forced to punt it away on fourth down and four. So both offenses had a possession. Both defenses hold up strong, and... Again, if you look at the schedule for both Boise State and TCU and look at the scores, while the offense are putting up big numbers, look at what the defense is allowing. The defense is just holding teams, and they don't allow people to score that often. Very good defenses. Paul Hall hands it off to Ed Wesley, and Wesley is tackled and brought to the blue turf. No running game early on here between TCU and Boise State at all. They give it to Wesley again. Finally, Ed Wesley able to grab a couple of yards. He was brought down by Shea McClellan on the tackle. Third down and nine. And TCU, they really got to open it up right here because the, the running game hasn't been there. We got five wide receivers. Paul Hall is pressured. He had an open receiver. And he's going to be brought down immediately. Fourth down and ten. And TCU to punt it away. Our third punt of the third or the first quarter. Excuse me, got threes in my head. The third punt here of the first quarter. And it's going to be fielded at the ten and brought to the sixteen by Gavins. Jarrell Gavins. He is the cornerback out of Miami, Florida, senior. First down and 10 for Boise State. Kellen Moore, they give it to Doug Martin, and Doug Martin is brought down. I think that was a 93 on TCU that brought him down. That would have been uh, Jeremy Coleman taking down Doug Martin. They give it to Martin again, and finally, Doug Martin able to break his way through, and and grab a lot of yards. There you see Jukin and Jivin finally brought down on the play by number one Cuba and number 13 Anton Hicks. Third down and one. Let's see do they give it back to... Oh, we got some movement on the line. We got a, a flag. What is it? And I was just about to say, let's see if they give it back to Doug Martin. Well, that might take uh, Doug Martin out of the equation. A penalty, a false start to back Boise State up five yards. And now, Kellen Moore might have to put it in the air. He's got uh, two backs, though, so three receivers. They No, look at this. Whoa, what a play, and it's intercepted. Oh, a little too much trickeration from Boise State. That was intercepted by TCU, by uh, Cuba. It was a, a fake handoff, and then Kellen Moore faked like he was going to throw it. Then he jumped up and threw it down the field, and it got picked off by Cuba. Wow, Boise State digging into the bag of tricks, and it came back to bite him. TCU has the football almost at the 30-yard line. Paul Hall completes it to Ed, no, that's not Ed Wesley, that is number 82 on the Horn Frogs, the wide receiver Josh Boyce, the sophomore from Cooper, from Cooper's Grove, Texas. 
30 seconds to go in the first quarter. Paul Hall is in shotgun position. He's got three receivers, a tight end, and a back. He gives it to Wesley. And Wesley, there he goes down the field inside the red zone to the 15-yard line. And Wesley busting through, finally breaking through this Boise State defensive line before getting taken down by George I. Loka. And there you see the Horned Frog as TCU looking to get the first points of this game on the board. The fourth ever meeting between the Horned Frogs and the Boise State Broncos. Paul Hall, that is completed for a first down, first and goal brought in by, there you see it, number 13, Anton Hicks, the wide receiver. He was wrestled to the turf by Aaron Tevis on Boise State. And, hey, we're going to come to the end of a very exciting first quarter. TCU is on the verge. You do not want to go anywhere, fans. You're watching game number three of the BCS playoffs preview game here, the regular season. And it's right here on YouTube and on Facebook. Paul Hall is in shotgun. He's got no bags, but here we go. Oh, it's a, actually, that was Ed Wesley who took the snap. He faked it to the receiver and tried to run it in, but Boise State was all over it to bring him down, so it'll be second down and goal now for the Horned Frogs. Paul Hall this time, almost the same play, but instead of Wesley faking the handoff and taking it, Paul Hall gave the ball to Wesley. And Ed Wesley got back to the six. So third down and goal. You might have to throw for it here if you're TCU. A whole lot of motion and movement on the line from the Horn Frogs. They give it to Wesley again. I said throw it. Boise perhaps was looking for a throw. But Patterson says, nope, we're going to run it. And that is a touchdown. Gary Patterson to put TCU up six to nothing. TCU and Boise, they've met in the uh, Armed Forces Bowl, or excuse me, the Fort Worth Bowl, which is at TCU's campus, the first time TCU is coming here to Broncos Stadium. Four minutes and 17 seconds to go. There's the kick, and it's going to be fielded at the goal line, brought to the 10, and up to the 20-21 yard line. I think Max Cartwright just walked into the booth. It's a great game, Taylor. Great game. I've been watching from the sidelines. It looks perfect. Good, good, good. I believe Four you. minutes and third. Sorry. Is there blood there? No. I just got shot. It's going to be fall start. It's the second fall start for the Broncos. Not like them. To be getting all those fall starts. So first and 15. Need to get their nerves under control. They're trailing the Horned Frogs. You have Moses in here. There's a handoff to Doug Martin. No, Moses our sponsor last week. And Martin <laughs> gets a seven-yard pickup. Who's our sponsor this week? Uh, Kit Kat Waffle Crisps. All right. Kellen Moore back to pass. He's deep down the field. Open receiver, and that's caught for a Boise State first down. Who got that? That's Whoa. number. That was number twenty. That was Mitch Burrows from Meridian, Idaho, the junior. Buster Bronco likes that. Buster Bronco is allowed to wear all blue at home. That's not fair. I don't know. Hey, the team can't, but I guess the mascot can because he's. I don't know. Go figure, the Mountain West and their crazy rules. Kellen Moore sends his man in motion. There's a the handoff to Doug Martin and gets to the 42.